So if you watch my channel, you know that I love math. And I love reviewing math programs and apps that you can use in your home, whether you're a homeschool parent or a parent with kids in school. So today I have a quick review for you of a math program that I've never covered on my channel before called Calcularis. This is a simple and easy to use math practice app that is supposed to help kids be able to answer questions 45% more accurately after just three months of use. All you need is 20 minutes a day and kids can use this completely independently. So let's take a look and see what Calcularis is all about. So this is a math program designed specifically for kids ages 6 to 10. It teaches basics like number processing, addition and subtraction, and multiplication and division through an adaptive learning platform. So your kids should be working on just the right skills for them based on how they have performed on previous skills. There are 47 different learning games in the program, and you can choose between the guided program where it adapts to the individual student or the free training mode where you or your child can pick which specific skills to practice. This is definitely not a full math curriculum. It's a math practice tool, and I know there are so many options for math practice tools and apps out there. It can definitely be hard to decide which one is right for your child. So this video is really just to help you learn about the Calcularis program and decide if this is something that could maybe help your kids improve in math. You can get a three-day free trial of Calcularis, and I have left the link for you in the video description where you can go to get that free trial. If you decide to keep it after the free trial, there are three payment options. Unfortunately, there is no monthly payment option, but they do have a three-month, six-month, or yearly payment option. Obviously, you'll save some money by paying for the full year up front. But if you're not sure that you'll want to keep this for a full year, you can get three months for $99, which comes out to $33 a month. And if you sign up for the free trial, don't forget to cancel if you don't end up liking it because you will need to give your credit card info. So when you sign up, you'll get an email and that will allow you to create the main parent account. And then you'll add your student. And I apologize that I don't know the answer to this, but I really couldn't figure out if you could have more than one student per account. I tried to add a second student, but it says that they need a license. So I am pretty sure that the price is per student. And because this is an adaptive learning program, you would want to keep the students separate also because of progress tracking. And then once you've created the student account, they're going to sign in to their own app. And they can do this on any device with access to a web browser. I tried it on my phone and it worked fine. I will say it can be tricky to get back to the parent account. So just remember, you're going to have two separate logins, one for the parent and one for the student. So this is the parent section, and there isn't really much to do here. You can, of course, manage your account and cancel your subscription if you need to here. You can add a new learner here. And over here, you can view all the content that's included in the program. So if you're interested in what your child will be learning about, you can see that here. But that's about all there is on the parent section. And you'll see these other items here that are not part of the math program. I'm honestly not sure if these are available for home use as I'm only reviewing the math program today. So to get to the student program, just click over here and you'll log back in with the student login that you created. Then you will choose between guided training and free training mode. As you can probably guess, guided training is the adaptive learning mode where the program will guide you through the lessons based on your performance and free training mode lets you pick any lesson you want. I'll start by showing you the guided training mode. So you just click start and you'll just do whatever math game they give you. Each game starts with a short video that explains how to do it. Then you just start answering the questions. If you get one wrong, it will show you the right answer. If you get a lot of questions correct in a row, it will put you on the fast track mode until you start getting some answers wrong again. As you get answers right, you'll earn points towards diamonds and stars. And I'll show you what that's for in a minute. 
You can also see your time spent for the day over here. The goal of the program is for kids to spend about 20 minutes a day. In this mode, after 18 minutes, you'll be able to choose which games you want to play for the last two minutes. And you can keep going after that if you want to. But 20 minutes a day is the suggestion. Okay, so let me just show you a few of the lessons now. And I'm calling them lessons, but they're really just math practice games. So let me show you. Six. Outstanding. Five. Good job. Two. Five. One. Extra point. Five in a row. That's right. Excellent work. Okay, so that's what the math practice on Calcularis looks like. Up top here, if you switch to park, this is where you spend the diamonds and stars. Diamonds let you buy animals and stars let you feed them. There honestly isn't much to this at all, but I guess they figured they needed some sort of reward system. This might motivate the younger kids, but I don't think it's going to do much for the bigger kids using this program. You can view your progress over here. The overview shows a little more detail. You can also see rewards you've earned here. If you want to switch to the free training mode, you can do that here. You'll see your last exercise practiced and similar exercises here. And then you can just choose between number processing, addition and subtraction, or multiplication and division. Then you choose a number range for how difficult you want it to be, and then you can choose an exercise. And you can also set the difficulty level. So this is probably most useful for when you want your child to practice a certain skill. And that's really all there is to the program. It's definitely simple to follow. I really don't see any issues with it from a math perspective. It seems like a perfectly good math practice tool for younger kids. And the price is in line with some of the other online math programs that I've reviewed. Although you can get IXL for only $9.95 a month. So if you're looking for a math practice app that's a little less expensive, that might be a good choice for you. Still, I do think that the approach to math practice on here with these games is good. I think it would definitely help your kids gain a better understanding of the math concepts. I like that it can be used on a computer or other device, and if you use the guided training mode, there's nothing else that a parent has to do. I know that it can be helpful even to get just 20 minutes to yourself to get something else done while your child is learning.
What I don't like so much about this program, well, there isn't a whole lot of variety with the types of games that I've seen on here, so it can be a little repetitive. I also think the reward system is silly, and I wish that there were more parent analytics to view to see how your child is progressing through the program. All you can really see is how much time they've spent and how many questions they've answered correctly. But maybe that's just me. I am the type of person that likes to look at a lot of data. Overall, I think this is a solid math practice tool that you could definitely use to add to your homeschool math curriculum. Or if you have a child in school who could use some extra math practice, this might be a good choice. Ultimately, it depends on the student. If they enjoy it and are willing to do it, then it's worth the money. If they hate it and don't want to do the program, then it's not going to be any use to you. Have you tried the Calculars program yourself? I'd love to hear what you think. And if there are any programs that you'd like to see me review on my channel, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get to them. Thank you so much for watching.